Hey everyone, welcome back to my videos. This is Christina and you are watching the Pre-PA Chronicles. This is a special series, two part series called Real Talk. And I, I'm saying it's real talk because I um, get a little bit more sensitive than I have in the past and being vulnerable and sharing some um, kind of deep rooted things that I normally wouldn't talk about on a platform like this. But I wanna be honest with you guys, this is why I made this channel is to find other students who are looking into this career path and they just they need a familiar voice or a familiar face or just anybody <laughs> to give them some guidance and some expectation um, as they try to pursue becoming a physician assistant so it's not easy and I do want to make it very clear that my experiences are mine they're no one else's they're mine and you could have a different experience other people probably most likely do have different experiences and there may be people who share my experiences but um, at the end of the day this is just me kind of giving a review of what I'm going through and so uh, I hope that it is beneficial I hope that it's encouraging I hope that it's uplifting but I also hope that I'm being real and honest with you guys I want you to know exactly what it's like trying to become a physician assistant. Let's start off with this. A lot has happened these past few weeks. You all know that there's a lot of crazy things going on in America, period, and even in other countries. I mean, everything from the coronavirus to the riots to um, <laughs> me <laughs> dealing with school. It's just been hectic, so I've been having a really difficult time adjusting. And that's kind of what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about what it's been for me and how I've been doing academically in PA school. It's been a little over a month since I started school, and I want to keep you guys informed. I want you to know exactly what it's like being a PA student. That's why I started this whole channel. And of course, being respectful to any other party that may be involved. I just want to share my experiences, what it's like, um, my, um, my, my feelings towards different things. And I'm not really going to go back, go into the whole racial wars that are happening in the country. Um, but I will say this, it does affect me. And I'd be lying if it didn't. Uh, does it play a role in my academics? Most likely, yes. Um, but it's more of, for me, it's an emotional thing that I have to kind of tarry with, um, kind of figure out where I fit and how I am to move forward as a professional. So um, it's a constant back and forth, but that's another video for another day. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about my first exams. So my hardest class that I'm taking right now is anatomy and physiology. And I say hardest because it's the highest credit hour class that I'm taking. It's roughly a seven credit hour, I think it's seven credit hours. And I have my um, history and PE where basically we're learning how to do a head to toe examination. Um, and we're being timed and we have to remember a lot of stuff in order to do it correctly and why we're doing it and how to talk and how to make the patient feel comfortable while you're doing it. and. It's a lot, but that was a five credit hour class. And then I have some other classes that are kind of filler. Um, overall, I'm doing well in all my classes. Um, you know, anatomy had a little bump in the road, but <laughs> I wanna just start, let me start by saying this. Um, I learned real quick to adjust. Uh, my first two anatomy scores, and I say two because there's both lab and lecture, I did not pass and passing is a 75. I definitely cried the day of the exam for like five, six hours. I cried so much I gave myself a headache. Like, and I literally could not study the rest of the day. Couldn't do anything else. I just sat there and slept in my bed. I was so frustrated. And I'm not like a perfect straight A student, uh, but I do achieve academic excellence in most of what I do. And so this was kind of a punch in the gut to me, not because I did poorly and I got the, the low grade, it was it was kind of hurtful because I, I put in so much effort into studying and I didn't have anything to show for it. And so that was the worst part. The good news, the good news is that I was, you know, our, my school was gracious enough to allow us to remediate. 
and Remediate basically gives us a second chance to pass the test, but you only get a passing grade. So, you know, I'm thankful for that. You know, it salvages my GPA and the program is ensure that I know what the heck I'm talking about, like ensuring that I study the material. So I see it as like me adjusting. I don't really know what I'm getting into until you actually get into it. And that's kind of what's been going on with this whole first semester, the first round of exams in all my classes. What is this? What's the tone? What are the expectations? Um, some people caught on really quickly and others didn't. And I was part of the others group. I, I thought that I was doing it right. I thought that I was studying well. I thought that I was hitting it head on and I missed some key concepts. What is in my favor, a, a unique quality that I have is that I bounce back quick and I learn to adjust. I don't like adjusting. I don't like it when things don't go my way the first time, but I'm happy when I can recognize what's working and what's not. Now, I have changed my study schedule up. Not my schedule, but I've changed my, my uh, studying techniques different like they're just 100 different I, I don't look at the material as this is what i need to know anymore i look at it as this is surface level now i need to understand how they relate to one another and i think that's the perspective that we need to have in clinical anatomy we need to understand the relationships between all the stuff we studied in undergrad how does this apply in a clinical setting so it was kind of a huge critique for me and I did change everything up. I'm hoping for the best moving forward. Once again, the amount of time that I'm putting in has not changed. Right now, it's only it's only the, uh, the way that I'm studying, making it more effective. I mean, I've got tutors now. I'm working with students who've done well on the test and um, I'm meeting with advisors. I'm trying to stay up to date. Um, I'm studying with other people. I'm using questions that integrate the material and, and kind of force me to think on a more advanced level about the anatomy of what I'm doing. And um, I think I'm confident that this will, will contribute to my next grade. So well, did I feel defeated? Absolutely. Like I have a whole clip where I, I recorded myself because I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna post this, but I'm gonna record it anyway. I felt so defeated, like, like, wow, I put in all this effort and what did it mean, you know? But the good news is that God is faithful and he wouldn't bring me here for no reason. I was able to get over that hump of feeling sorry for myself. I did well in all my other classes, my five credit hour, the other few classes that I'm taking and I'm still rolling with steam. I'm not burned out. I've spent, you know, a lot more time focusing on self-care, trying to find my little bit of time to exercise. But um, I think that I think that what I'm doing matters. And that takes me into my next video. Actually, it's part two, just to let you guys in on what's going on in my life and how I'm managing as a PA student. Um, year one. So thank you guys once again for your love. Listen, I need prayers. I need as many prayers as possible. I am working my butt off. I am battling, battling with the emotions of what's going on right now, trying to be a good student. Um, I'm trying to do well. I'm trying to overcome any type of adversity that I'm dealing with right now, but um, I have a strong support system and I'm, I'm just happy to even have the opportunity to do what I'm doing. So thank you guys for much love. Please like, comment and subscribe and i hope to hear from you in the comment section take care